Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Measy Mail and I'm back today with another banger. Now in today's video, I will be showing you guys the best build to create when NBA 2K drops. The reason that I'm telling you to create this build is because you will be able to play with anybody that you want to. In the beginning of the year, your build will be better than most of the builds because you will be able to do whatever you want to with this build. You will be able to play offense. You will be able to, be able to play defense and stop those larger opponents. Now, as you know, the stretches are always a build that will be more overpowered than any other build in the year. Before this 2K20 demo drop, there were some superstitions saying that big men were not going to be able to shoot if they were over a seven foot they weren't going to be able to have certain jump shots but it has been confirmed that they are no longer doing that and the stretches are back so of course we're gonna make a stretch toxic but you gotta do what you gotta do to get them early wins in the year so yeah i'm making a stretch lock basically in my pie chart i'm letting his three point attribute be very high as you can see he has around 90 overall shooting so that means that he will be able to consistently green with some of the badges that you can put on him and he will be able to play defense no longer will your stretch be body by every build in the game so yeah let's go ahead and make it most of you know that the big man will be hit with a little speed differentiation than last year they will be a little bit slower so if you're playing twos, this is will be a great build because you won't have to like sprint up and down the court the whole time. The fastest you can make him is a 69 with a 64 acceleration. I'm gonna make him a 66 speed, 62 acceleration with 72 strength because he will still be strong while not being hit with a very slow speed. So that's gonna be real nice. I'm gonna increase all of my shooting attributes. All of my shooting attributes are gonna be raised just because he's a stretch so that means you get 30 shooting badge upgrades and i'm gonna also increase some of my defense just so he is not gonna be weak so this is my final stretch big build that i'm creating this year for the very beginning of the year now as you can tell i increased all of my shooting attributes and all of my defensive attributes the thing that's gonna make this build whatever build that you really want to make it is how you choose your badges now your body shape does not really affect the way that you play or any of your attributes or your physicals it doesn't really affect it so just create your build however you really want it i'm going to make my build solid solid as a rock now as you see as soon as you increase your height major drops 611 from 67 a 67 stretch he could have increase of a lot of things, but he will have a decrease of his interior defense. Defense is kind of what we're going towards on this build, along with shooting. So I want to go with something that doesn't really impact both of them too heavy. Now, seven foot stretch in the past few years have been good, but I think you might have to go with 6'9 or 6'10 or 6'11. Cause seven foot, it drops your badges a lot. It really drops your badges a lot. So I'm gonna go with 611. So I'm not really taking that hit too bad. No, I'm gonna go with 610. Because your speed, strength, they're still there. Your shooting is still there. Your defense, your interior defense goes up a little bit. So if you're playing a post score, you can still be able to defend a little bit on that. And you're, you just get a little bit slower, but I mean, it's all cool. We just have to see how this build actually does within the game. Now, I'm going to make my build about 260 pounds just because he will still be able to play defense. And his shooting is not affected by this. His interior defense goes up by four, but his lateral quickness goes down minus one. That's perfectly fine for me. Now, his wingspan... <laughs> You can increase you can increase that wingspan this year. You don't have to have a stretch with super short arms. You get a plus four on your mid-range shot, but most stretches really don't shoot from the mid-range, so yeah. So his three-point at this point is gonna be a 90. His mid-range is gonna be a 93. 
it's still in block go down a little bit, but he will still be able to play defense after you increase the badges. Now, you can either make your build a rim protector or you can make him a spot up shooter. I will go with rim protector because his shooting attributes are already 90s and above. He will still be able to shoot with that takeover. When he gets his takeover, he will still be able to shoot. So yes, I will be making this rim protector build. So I will be able to play with anybody I want to. I have built a stretch for similarities of Dirk Nowinski, Gallinari, and Paul Milso. Yeah, that's lit. Now I'm gonna put this one badge as slithery finisher. Hopefully this badge is good. We don't really know what these badges are really capable of until we play against other players. So I'm just gonna put this on here because it seems like it would be the best for a bronze badge. So going next to my shooting badges, of course you're gonna wanna have catch and shoot. Have that Hall of Fame, a green machine, have that Hall of Fame. Range extender, you wanna put that at least gold, Hall of Fame, Dead Eye, Hall of Fame, of course, just so you get less contested shots. So that means you have 14 badges to mess around with. Now, those badges are badges that you will need. You're gonna need those badges, regardless. So these are the badges that I put on my player. I put Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Hall of Fame Dead Eye, Hall of Fame Raging Standard, Hall of Fame Green Machine. Then I put Silver Deep Fades, Gold Slippery Off Ball, Gold Hot Start, Gold Flexible Release, and Gold Steady Shooter. So that means that I have four Hall of Fame, four Gold, and one Silver Badge for my shooting. Now remember, <laughs> my takeover for this build is Lock, which means that I will have increased Lock whenever I get my takeover, but my shooting badges are, I have 30 of these shooting badges, which means that my stretch is gonna be very, very good on offense and defense. I'm gonna have my rim protector on silver. I'm gonna have my pit pocket on silver. Now, if you put post move lockdown on this build, it will help with your offensive build. These are the badges that I'm gonna be putting on my lockdown. I'm gonna have silver brick wall, silver pit pocket, silver rim protector, and bronze tireless defender. I'm gonna put quick first step on for my playmaking badges just so I can get a little bit faster and have that increased upgrade for any other build that are that I plan against. So yeah.